Hello, my name is Savannah Haynes, and today I'm going to take you through a rigging scenario where I'm going to show you how to install and use a porter wrap. A porter wrap is a lowering device used to control large loads through friction. A porter wrap has the ability of stopping the load, letting the piece run, or controlling the speed of the load. First, we're going to attach the porter wrap and sling. You attach these two together by using a girth hitch. You simply just pass the eye of the loop through the top of the porter wrap and feed through the slack like so. Next, the porter wrap and sling is going to be attached to the tree using either a cow hitch or a timber hitch. A timber hitch is going to be used when the sling is too short. Today, we are going to use a cow hitch. All knots need to be properly tied, dressed, and set. You need to make sure that you install the porter wrap and sling at a comfortable height so you have better ergonomics when tensioning the rigging line later on. While we were attaching the porter wrap and sling, the climber was in the tree setting the rigging line and any other necessary rig points. Today we are going to be using a false crotch, a rigging block. The rigging block is attached to the tree using a girth hitch, and the rigging line is attached to the tree using a clove hitch with two half hitches. We're going to install the rigging line to the porter wrap. You install the rigging line to the porter wrap by passing a loop of rigging line up the angle U and attaching it around the upper portion. Once stuff. the porter wrap is attached, you need to tension the slack out of the system. Do this by pulling both lines taut. Once the system is tensioned, you wrap the rigging line around the barrel. The more wraps you add, the more friction you have over the system. The amount of friction affects the control you have over the load. With this size limb, I'm going to put three wraps. You can lock off the rigging line by tying it like a cleat. Now that we're all set up and installed, we are ready for our climber to cut the limb. There are a variety of cuts the climber can make, and today he is going to use a snap cut. Hold the rigging line taut so you're prepared for the weight of the load. If you're going to let the piece run, hold it slack. decide to lower the limb, it is imperative that you keep your hands away from the porter wrap at all times. Now that the limb is on the ground, we can untie the rigging line and get ready for the next cut. Thank you for watching this video, and if you have any other Arbor related questions, feel free to check out more videos on